Welcome to our Easter service. It's a little different from normal, but the message of hope that the Easter story brings is a fabulous story. The Lord, the be, Lord with be with you. The Lord, the Lord be with you. Creator God, we ask you to bless our story. Please give us pure hearts. Meek spirits and careful tongues. That in all our life and conduct, we may show that we love you and each other. come from the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. It was a long and confusing night. Jesus was beaten and mocked and sentenced to death. They gave him a cross to carry to the hill outside the city. There were criminals there who said to Jesus, if you're the Messiah, why don't you save yourself? But one said to him, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, Today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus looked at all those who were hurting him and said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. That afternoon, Jesus died. Jesus was taken down from the cross and buried in a cave. A great stone was rolled into the opening of the cave to close it like a door. Have you ever noticed that there's two public holidays for Easter? There's one for the sadness of Good Friday, where we actually sit in loss and think about um, Jesus dying, think about the sad things that are happening in our world today. But there's also a day for the joy, a day to, a day to emphasize the resurrection, a day to mm -hmm. say that there is no ending that's forever. There's always a new beginning. The Easter story is that the worst happened. We see that in the cross in Jesus dying and that somehow it all became better again. If that sounds like a movie, then it's cause it is. Um, all of our best movies and books are based on this kind of shape. Starts off with something absolutely terrible. Think about Harry Potter and Star Wars. They start off with like terrible things, with babies becoming orphans, with um, children being taken away and with like the most evil characters out to get them. And yet in both those movies and sagas, good triumphs. And that's what we see in Easter. We see resurrection and hope. And that is what our world needs today. I've asked some students and staff from around the school to share where they see loss and devastation at the moment and where they see resurrection. I miss my friends and family like Jesus' disciples must have when he died on the cross. At the moment, I miss seeing my friends and teachers in person. I'm sad about the fact that we had to cancel our trip to South Africa to see my frail grannies and our friends who live there. Hello everyone and greetings. Rev David here with an Easter message from me. 
In the current situation that we are living with the coronavirus, many people will have become isolated from friends and family and it will be difficult for them to feel the spirit of Easter. For Christians though, this is the most significant and the most holy time of the year. It's a story of death and life, of a cross and resurrection. Importantly though, Easter is a time of hope and an opportunity for reconciliation and transformation of lives and of attitudes. I'm really lucky not to have anything touched by grief so far. So uh, my thing is about um, what I've missed out on and that's going to the park with the girls with the parks being closed at the moment, um, trying to explain to them why that is. Something I'm missing? That's easy. I'm really missing seeing my grandkids. Physically, they don't live far away, but, you know, we're doing the right thing and we're just keeping our distance. So I'm seeing photos and uh, we talk and we look at each other online, but it's not the same. So missing them a lot. I'm the Reverend Daryl McCulloch. I'm the parish priest at Coffs Harbour Anglican Church. The hardest thing for me at the moment is trying to work out how I can serve my parish community. And it's hard doing online services when that's not what we're used to and not being able to gather together. Uh, and I spend, I'm spending a lot of time editing videos, uh, so that's hard work. This is actually making quite a lot of people sick and unwell and that's not a, a nice thing to hear about or see when it's someone that you know or not know even. And what uh, I'm missing out on at the moment is seeing those people that I love, my friends, my family, um, that I can't come and visit me because they're overseas or they're in another part of Australia. And I'm also missing out on seeing my family at BDC, all the people that I work with, um, all of you who stop me in the playground and say, hi, Miss Scott, or hi, Miss Stokes, whichever you call me, and um, having a conversation, my beautiful class. So there's lots of things I'm missing out on. Hello everyone, Shane here. Humanity is facing an enormous challenge at the moment and that road seems quite long. God taught us though to trust our ability to face challenges as they come. Easter is a time that reminds us of God's words, which were to love one another as I have loved you. Stay safe everyone and we will see you soon. This year the story of Jesus suffering and dying on his way to and on the cross helps me put things in perspective. It is our story. It is the story of the earth, the story of pain and suffering, of darkness and fear. But it is also the story of God who chooses not to run away from the darkness, who chooses in all things to be with us ever present. Saturday was so quiet, you could almost hear the earth breathing. On Sunday, it was the women who had the courage to go to the tomb, just to be close to Jesus. When they arrived, they found that the stone had been rolled away. When they looked inside, the tomb was empty. As Mary Magdalene stood weeping, suddenly Jesus appeared and spoke to her, and it was Mary who went to the disciples and announced, Jesus is alive. He has risen from the dead. Christians are Easter people. We believe that resurrection is possible, that even in the worst devastation and grief, there is good and possibility. There is hope and rebirth. Happy Easter. This is the primary performance choir. We would like to sing for you Hymn to Freedom.
story of resurrection gives me a nourishing taste of what God is willing in us. Like a tinge of green after a fire, like drops of rain on drought stricken ground, like finding new life after a flood. Easter connects me into the energy of God that is all around us in every time and every place, willing new life, willing hope in us, willing us into resurrection. My hope for the future is that this world, after we come through the other side of this COVID-19, will be a kinder and gentler place. Maybe this time out from our normal routines will give us pause to reflect and think about how, in our small way, we can make the world a better place. I hope we won't look back on this moment with heavy hearts. When I walk down the street, there are a very large number of people who give a big smile and um, say hello, who are complete strangers, who are just wanting to connect with somebody. Easter is the most fundamental part of my faith because Jesus rose again. He truly rose again and that's amazing because it means that death will have no hold on us and we too will rise again to glory. Jesus has dealt with all our wrongdoing, all our heartache, all our pain and that's the most wonderful news that we could ever hope to have. A memory came up in my social media that reminded me that when I taught kindergarten, when I taught the current year 12, who, when they were in kindergarten, at this time of year we were actually flooded in at school. Cost Harbour had a really big flood and the bottom of the road got flooded and um, many children in their first year of school in kindergarten had to sleep over at school and it's interesting that now at their final year at school now they can't actually go to school. They're actually staying at home and learning from home. But after that flood we had, we came back from that and we improved and um, we looked at ways for that never to happen again. And I think, I hope that that will be the same for this virus. I hope that when we get through it, we'll be able to plan ways that, so that it doesn't affect us this massively again. Disease has taken our focus off war. Um, there's no personal enemy uh, against disease and it's an opportunity for the human race to unite stronger than we ever have before. Stay safe and stay inside, everyone. Jesus the Christ was a revolutionary who spoke of liberation, freedom and justice. The resurrected Christ has given us the same mission in our lives of working for justice, freedom and equality for everyone. When asked what is the most important thing to uphold in life, Jesus said love. He reiterated this by saying love your neighbour and love God. The truth is that not only has Christ risen, but he has been rising for 2,000 years. And he's still rising today. The work is not done. The resurrection and revolution are ongoing and will continue in this present crisis and into the future. However, we must remember that there is hope for the world. This Easter, let us greet each other with words of hope and optimism. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. May this Easter be a time of surprises and a time of hope for you all. The Lord be with you. I am hoping and praying that all the families of BDC will stay safe and healthy during this COVID-19 crisis. I will remain faithful that as a community, we will rise from this and that BDC will continue to grow strong. Dear God, we pray for those who are being impacted by coronavirus, for the health professionals caring for sick people, for those families who have lost loved ones, for those who are scared and isolated, for those who are sick and in hospital. We pray that science may find solutions for this global pandemic. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours 
now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Happy Easter from BDC to you and your family. To all the staff and students of BDC, wishing you a happy Easter and a wonderful long weekend. I hope you all stay safe. And remember, wash your hands. Happy Easter, everyone. I hope you have a lovely break and I hope the Easter Bunny Year brings you lots of presents. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. Everybody, happy a Easter. very happy Easter. Have a wonderful Easter everyone. Happy Easter. And let's especially thank all those healthcare workers out there working on this Easter. Hello everybody. Happy Easter everyone. Happy Easter. I hope you have a fabulous Easter with your family and that the Easter Bunny finds you and you get to eat heaps and heaps and heaps of chocolate. Happy Easter. Happy Easter! I have a few jokes for you. First one is, how does the Easter Bunny stay healthy? He does his daily exercise. Okay, I'll admit that wasn't very funny, but I'm sure it had some of you cracking up. Thank you for joining us today. Have an exciting holiday.